Designing your brand identity is just the first step. You want to ensure that you stay consistent so that over time you can build brand recognition. And to do this, I highly recommend that you at least design a one page style guide. This style guide is going to compile your color values, what typeface or font you're using, different variations for your logo mark. So that way you can have it in one reference page instead of having to search for them. Even if you have a brand kit, this is going to help you a lot. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take this free template that I'm providing for you and use it in Adobe Express to create a one page style guide. It's going to help you compile your logos or your brand mark in one area, different color values, patterns, and your typeface so that you can share this with your team, contractor, partners, or anyone else that works with you and your brand. Now, before we dig any further, I want to take a quick moment to pause and thank Adobe Express for partnering with me to bring this series to you. So, Let's jump in and get started. Let's start by going to the templates that you added to your library from the earlier movies in the series. I found the templates over here. I'm going to click on this library. Then I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to look for this template. Once I click on it, I'll see this window and I can start a new file. Now you see the template page over here ready for you to start editing. Before you move forward with this step, I highly recommend that you have your brand kit set up. If you haven't set this up, I will provide a link in this video over here to see the full tutorial on how to do this. But I will give you a quick rundown on how to set up a brand kit. Now, there are a couple ways that you want to proceed about collecting your designs, your icons, your brand marks, depending on what route you went. If you work with a professional designer, they will likely provide something from Illustrator. So this is some of the things that we do with our clients. We work a lot with Illustrator and Adobe Express. With Adobe Illustrator, it's really great to get these vector crisp quality brand marks, meaning that if you ever blow this up to print on a huge, large scale, it's not going to look pixelated. So this is just a very clean version of the brand identity that I had designed. And then what I did is I exported all of these files as an Illustrator file, which is really great to use in Adobe Express. They kind of communicate with one another and I'm able to import that into the brand kit. Now, if you didn't work with Illustrator or you didn't work with a designer, this is totally fine. Let's say you worked on this using Adobe Express. Now, let's say this is what you created with Adobe Express. I do recommend, if at all possible, to be able to have your brand marks created in a vector format like with Illustrator. This is just going to make it so much easier in case you need to bring this to a large format print because otherwise you won't get that crisp quality. But let's say you're starting and this is what you can work with. That is totally fine. So we'll pretend that this was done here in Adobe Express. Now, what you want to do is go to background color and click on no fill. Then what you'll do is download the files that you designed, whether it was some patterns, some design elements, your typeface, the title of your brand name, whatever were the pieces that you used to build your brand identity, click and download those to a particular folder. Now I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to set up a brand kit. You're going to go to brands and click on create brand. Then it's going to ask you to give a name and let's just say name one and click on create. Then it's fairly simple and very straightforward. It'll ask you to add your logos, your assets, color, fonts and templates. And you can also toggle on these areas and start to add these manually. Again, there is a link over here that you can follow for further instructions on how to do this. All right, so let's get to editing this template. What we want to do is instead of selecting each individual area and changing it one by one and wasting a ton of time, we're going to leverage brand kits. So we're going to go to brand, find that brand kit that you just created. And I have several, so I'm going to select the one that I wanted and then click on apply brand. If you see this little gear over here, make sure you toggle it to apply colors and fonts. That way it applies it to all your elements over here. Click on apply brand. And what it's going to do is that it's going to pull all the information from the colors and fonts that you defined and apply it to this design. You can keep clicking on it till you reach a result that you like. And let's say for now, we're going to click a couple more and then I'm good to go with this. Now I can start making some modifications like changing the background color to white 
and a few of these text elements. So I tweaked it a little bit and now I want to start getting into the actual typography. So we're gonna bring in some of this information over here from the brand kit to this one page style guide. Now I provided a typeface or font name and alternate versions that you could use. But for this example, I'm not gonna include those because I have the fonts that I need right here inside Adobe Express. And what I have done is that I defined fonts for the headers, fonts for the body text and fonts for any callouts. So this will be a really great reference point to be able to see what I use for each one. Now, when you set up your brand kit, you're also able to define which fonts go for your headers and which are for your body text. So essentially we're translating over all that information into this area. So I'm gonna go in and start changing the text over here so that it reflects the fonts that we're using for this particular brand. So I've added my fonts for headers, the body text font, the callouts, and you can see a preview of some of the fonts that we're using over here. Next, let's start to add some of the brand marks or the variations that we'll use. Now you can start clicking on these elements and since this was just a placeholder, I'm gonna delete these and I'm going to delete this as well. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to brand kit, access that brand kit that we're using, and I'm gonna start adding these logos that we were using. So I'm gonna click on view all and select the ones that I want to add. Then you're gonna go through the process to include at least your primary mark, if you have a horizontal variation, or if you're using just a word mark and your icon. I've added my marks from my brand kit into this page. And now I'm ready to start making more modifications. Now we have this placeholder image. If you want, there is a way to create this mock-up style using your logo. So to do that, go to add-ons and look for mock-ups. There's a lot of versions that you can use and R4 mock-ups is the one that I use to create something similar to this. So you wanna click on this. It's going to bring you to different options. Now, this is a premium service, so it's an add-on that you'd have to pay outside of Adobe Express, but they do have some that are for free. And in this case, we're just gonna do a tote bag. It doesn't really match what we're doing for this brand, but just for the example's sake, I wanted to show you. It'll give you different options as to if you wanna change the handle color, the bag design, and you can kind of go in here and pick one of these colors from the eyedropper tool, and you'll see that it'll start to populate it, and then it'll start to change this on the design. Then next, let's go back to bag design, and if you have your logo file separate here, I would add that and drop it into the file. If you select to import the current page, it's gonna bring everything from this page into here, which we don't wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and import that over here. And I have a PNG file. Now you'll see it added it over here. I'm starting to see the preview and then I can adjust it to fit within that area. Once I'm ready and I find the image I want to add, I'm going to click on add to page. I added my bag and you can see how it's starting to take shape. The next thing you want to do is add your brand colors. We have a designation for your primary brand colors and then your secondary or accent colors. What you want to do is just go click and select on each box, click on fill, and then make sure that you have your brand kit selected because it's gonna make your process so much easier. Then go and start selecting the colors that you'll use and applying them to each box. And then make sure that if the text feels like it disappears, just change it to something that is going to be visible and easy to read. And typically white will work better on darker colors and lighter colors, you want a dark color. Then go and double click on the text and start adding the hex color and the sRGB color values. If you do not have the CMYK values, don't worry. This is really gonna be important if you're going to print. And there are some places online that will do the conversion for you. It's just some word of caution, not always accurate. Keep in mind that when you go from RGB, which is what we see on the screen to CMYK, the colors on CMYK will look a little bit more dull than what you're seeing on your screen. If you don't have CMYK, you can just select it all and delete that value and just keep what you will need. Okay, we're almost at the finish line. Let's say you added all your colors over here. Next, what you wanna add is any patterns or textures that you're going to use. So in Illustrator, I had created a pattern out of the icon. So I'm gonna go back to brands, access my brand kit that I want to create or use for this design, Go to assets because that's where I have these patterns and click on that image. It's going to replace it super easily for me. And then we'll replace the other image. 
go back to brands, find the other pattern I wanna include and click on that. Now in the Stylescape video that we were doing earlier, I did find this really nice topographic map texture that I wanted to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to elements and we're gonna search for that again. And we're gonna type in topographic map. And then what I did here is I had already found this and I added as my favorite. So in case I ever wanna find it again in the future, it's added as my favorites and I can find that under your stuff, going to favorites. And then I can see some of the content that I've liked that I want to reference to again inside Adobe Express. And here we have our simple one page brand style guide with some of the information that we'll need to use for this brand. And here we have our finalized brand style guide. Now, what I recommend is that you download this as a PDF and share this with your collaborators, your partners, or if you get PR, because this will be really helpful. So that way they know what brand marks to use, what your typography is, and what your brand colors are. Now that you've done all that great hard work, let's move forward with the next step that you can find in this video. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more right over here.